Good morning and a very warm welcome to our service on Sunday the 7th of February. It's great to have you with us this morning. Today is our all age service and we're going to be thinking about promises. You may be looking on our YouTube channel looking for some of our children and youth material. Just to let you know that during this term at least we're not going to be releasing the bubbles and splash videos as we have been doing, uh, mainly because some of those that we're putting those together and recording them are homeschooling people themselves or our teachers who are having to do homeschooling uh, and write lots of material. And we also know that your children and young people are spending a lot of time on computers at the moment. So we've made the decision for this term not to put more material onto our YouTube channel, but there is some old material on there. There's some schools work on there as well, some assemblies that I've done and other people have done. So please do have a look for that. Now I say we've not got any children's and youth work on our YouTube channel, but look out and wait for next weekend, or actually for Monday the 15th of February, because our explorers will be back again for half term, and we're going to be thinking about the theme of love, as next Sunday is Valentine's Day. So look out for more information about our packs, which will be available to pick up from the 15th from the church porch, and do join in with explorers. Our youth group continues to meet online on Zoom and we'll be doing that monthly. So again, if you want to know more about that, then please let me know. Please also join in the prayer that we're doing on uh, an evening at six o'clock as our archbishops have called us to do, as we continue to make an intentional effort to pray in this season. As we come into our worship this morning, as we come to praise our almighty God and think about promises, let's pray. Loving God, we thank you that everything you say, you do. We thank you that you are faithful and we thank you that you love each one of us. As we come into our service today, we just pray for your blessing to be with us, for your presence to be in us and around us. And we just ask you to help us to worship you more and more. And we ask this in Jesus' name. Amen. We're going to move into some worship songs now, so enjoy singing out these songs. Never be another awesome. Oh, well. 
is built on nothing less than Jesus' blood and righteousness. I dare not trust the sweetest frame, but wholly trust in Jesus' name. My hope is built. My hope is built on nothing less than Jesus' blood and righteousness. I dare not trust the sweetest frame, but wholly trust in Jesus' name. Christ alone, cornerstone, weak and made strong in the Savior's love. Through the storm, He is Lord, Lord of all. Darkness seems to hide his face I rest on his unchanging grace In every high and stormy gale My anchor holds within the veil yeah. My anchor holds within the veil
You're my Lord of all Jesus You're my Lord This week's reading is from Genesis chapter 9, verse 8 to 17. Then God said to Noah and to his sons with him, I now establish my covenant with you and with your descendants after you and with every living creature that was with you, the birds, the livestock and all the wild animals, all those that came out of the ark, with you, every living creature on earth. I establish my covenant with you. Never again will all life be destroyed by the waters of a flood. Never again will there be a flood to destroy the earth. And God said, This is the sign of the covenant I am making between me and you and every living creature with you, a covenant of all generations to come. I have set my rainbow in the clouds, and it will be a sign of the covenant between me and the earth. Whenever I bring the clouds over the earth and the rainbow appears in the clouds, I will remember my covenant between me and you, and all the living creatures of every kind. Never again will the waters become a flood to destroy all life. Whenever a rainbow appears in the clouds, I will see it and remember the everlasting covenant between God and all living creatures of every kind on earth. So God said to Noah, This is the sign of the covenant I have established between me and all life on earth. Thank you to Joseph for doing our reading this morning. And perhaps this is a reading that you know really well. It comes at the end of the story about Noah. We know that Noah went on the ark with all of those animals, and we know that that ark even floated for several days. And then at the end of that, we know that God and Noah had a conversation. And God said that he would provide a sign that he would never flood the earth again. Now, I wonder if I talk about promises, what do you think about? Perhaps you think about promises you've made. Perhaps you think about promises that have been broken. Perhaps you think about someone who has always kept their promises. Or perhaps there have been promises that have been broken along the way because we are human. And there's lots and lots of talk about promises in the Bible. I went to look up how many times promises is mentioned in the Bible. It's over 50 times. Because God makes promises to people. He tells them what's going to happen. And we know that God is faithful to his word. But in this account, we hear a different word for promise. And that word is covenant. And covenant is the same as a promise. It's a bit like if someone signs a contract or signs something legally, that's a little bit like a covenant. It's a promise that someone binds themselves um, or says, yes, I'm going to do that. And they follow through with doing that. And so God makes a covenant. Now, covenant, the word covenant is used nearly 300 times in the Bible. So that's an awful lot of times. But God makes covenants with different people through the Bible. And this is just one example of a covenant that he made. Now, God didn't just say, OK, I'm going to make a covenant with you. He actually gave Noah and Noah's family a sign and a sign that we know very well. And particularly we know very well from the last year, which is the sign of a rainbow. That's a rainbow that I've had up in my window for quite a few weeks, probably months now, actually. And around it, it said, we may not know when, but good times are coming. And I know some of you have drawn rainbows to put up in your windows. Some of you have made things to put in your windows. I've had a rainbow cross at sometimes in my window. But rainbows to me are very important. They're one of the signs that God has used with me on several occasions. 
Perhaps when things have been difficult, perhaps when I've got some tough choices to make, we've been thinking about choices throughout January. I found that when I'm in those situations, I find that there is often a rainbow around for me to look at and I love looking at rainbows. I'm going to show you a picture now on screen of a rainbow, it's actually a double rainbow, that I had when I was on retreat on one occasion. And I was in between quite a big transition at that point, I'd moved from one place to another. And I think I just arrived on retreat at this point and this beautiful double rainbow appeared in the sky. And to me the sign of a rainbow has always been that sign of a promise from God that he is there and that he is faithful and that he never breaks his promises. Rainbows today mean lots of different things to lots of different people. But for Christians, we come back to this story in the Bible, this story of Noah and the ark and God's promise being in a rainbow. And I love the sign of a rainbow. So maybe you've still got some rainbows up in your window. Maybe you've kept them there. Maybe you want to make one today. And Debbie's going to show us how to make a rainbow and an ark. And so Debbie's going to help us with our craft this morning. Hey, good morning, how are you? So I'm going to do a rainbow craft today. Um, just a few simple things, a piece of white card or paper, um, some coloured pens, or you could use pencils, but the, these pens are rather nice. They've got a lovely brush. They're two-ended, but the one end is like a brush paint. So it's very nice. Um, I've used a tea plate to draw a circle. I've also got um, a protractor. You don't need to have one of those. It just helped me to draw the arcs of the rainbow. Um, and a pair of scissors. So what I did first of all is I drew a circle on, onto the card using the plate. There we are, that's it. And I, I've cheated because I've already cut it out. There we go. So we've got a circle. Now, let's get rid of that. So it's a 3D model. So what we need to do is fold it along the centre line. So if you just fold it like so, like that, because your model is it's going to sit up like that. So, right, so what I did next was to draw the rainbow. Um, so I used the protractor to draw the first one. So using your middle line, just draw yourself a nice arc there, like that. I then, I did the rest of them freehand. Um, they're a little bit wobbly, but it doesn't matter too much because once you colour them in, it's absolutely fine. So. I've done my seven layers of rainbow, okay? So, I don't know if you can see that, you possibly can get the idea. So we can, we can colour those in. And then in the middle, so, that, so there's the rainbow, this bit is going to be sky, and in the middle I've drawn a little arc. Again, let me, let me just put it a bit nearer, hopefully you can see where I've drawn the arc in the middle. So what we're going to do, we, we can, we can colour these in, I'll, I'll just make a, a bit of a start on it, you, you don't want to watch while I colour them all in do you, because that would be fairly boring, so we'll just make a start, you can see that, there we go, red first, well, I was going to sing the song but I, I keep getting the colours all mixed up and in the wrong order so I, I won't do that, but there's red, and there's some orange, red, And yellow next, mm -hmm. green, a blue, there we are, a bit of blue, so as you can see it doesn't matter too much, uh, where did we get to, blue and um, oh how about some purple. There's that one and then this must be the last one. This is sort of a pink colour. There we are. So there are our rainbow colours. Ta-da! Okay, terrible colouring. I know. I'm sure you will be much better at it. Right, and then let's just colour the little arc. I'm going to, I'm going to do that in brown. Um, let's do that. 
There's the roof. Dun, dun, dun. There's the upper bit. And I'm going to put some little portholes in the side like that. Look. blue you could do some C underneath that if you feel like it there we are and then underneath we're, we're going to write a little message and the message is God keeps his promises because that's what the rainbow reminds us of isn't it God keeps his promises so if you start about here you can do this well however you like you can do posh bubble writing or I'm just going to do that with my big nice blobby pen God Keeps his promises. There you go. I'm sure you'll take much more time over that and do it much more beautifully than I have done. But there we are. So that's that's where we got to. So the next bit now. What we're going to do now? We need to cut out because this bit here is is kind of the sky underneath the rainbow. So what we need to do? What I did? I folded it in half that way. To make it easier to cut and then if you take your scissors you can cut around there like so along the horizon and then up the side of the boat over the roof Now you've got that. So if we put that up and then just stand your little boat up like that in the middle. There we are. God keeps his promises and there's a rainbow and Noah's Ark in the middle. And of course, in best traditions, here's one I made earlier. There we are. So that's that's one that I took a little bit more care over and hopefully you can you can get the idea of that. Um, if you don't fancy cutting, if cutting is really not your thing, you could just do um, a picture, some, some artwork. So I did one here, and so it's just it's the rainbow, we've still got the, the words God keeps his promises, um, and then I thought we could have some little clouds at either end of the rainbow, and I probably should have used cotton wool balls, but I hadn't got any of those, so I used cotton wool pads and fluffed them up a little bit. So, your choice. There we are, I hope you enjoy the craft. Thank you so much, Debbie, for our craft this morning. And perhaps you want to go away and make one of those things that she's shown us, giving us a few options of things. And you might have your own idea. But wouldn't it be great again to put some more rainbows up in windows to cheer people up as they are walking round Yaxley? And when I look at the rainbow, when I think of that beautiful picture that I showed you earlier of the double rainbow, I remember that God is faithful that God always keeps his promises. And Debbie's written on her, her craft, hasn't she? That God always keeps his promises. And so perhaps you wanna put that somewhere as something to remember this week. If you're going through a particularly tough time, perhaps you want the sign of a rainbow somewhere. Perhaps you want those words, or maybe just go back to that story. So as we think about promises, as we think about the fact that we can always trust God and he always does what he says. Let's have some more worship as we move into some more songs. God, I love to you. I won't be overwhelmed. Give me vision to see things like you do. God, I look to you, you're where my help comes from. Give me wisdom, you know just what to do. God, I look to you, I won't be over. Give me vision to see things like 
like you do God I look to You're where my help comes from Give me wisdom You know just what to do far away You're always on my side You're always looking out for me So I will sing, 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 sing great you are I will love you Lord my strength I will love you Lord my shield I will love you Lord my love forever
shine on me. Shine, Jesus, shine. Fill this land with the Father's glory. Bless, Spirit, place. Set our hearts on fire. Flow, river, flow. Flood the nations with grace and Send forth your word, Lord, and let, let there be light. Oh, let there be light. As we gaze on your kingly brightness, so our faces display your likeness, ever changing from glory to glory. Mirrored here, may our lives tell your story. Shine on, shine on me. Shine, Jesus, shine. Fill this land with the Father's glory. Blaze, Spirit, blaze. Set our hearts on fire. Flood. and mercy send forth your word Lord and let there shine Jesus shine shine Jesus shine fill this land with the Father's glory blaze spirit blaze set our hearts on fire love me Let us pray. Heavenly Father, we thank you that from the time we open our eyes each morning until we close them again at night, each day provides us all with so many opportunities to worship you and deepen our relationship with you. Lord, may we always be reminded that you are with us. In happiness or sorrow, we feel you with us, often showing signs, letting us know you hear our prayers of thanks or prayers for help. We come to you this morning, Lord, with our thanks for giving us fresh hope in what has been our darkest year. We are hearing of great numbers of people receiving the COVID-19 vaccine. We thank you for the wonderful volunteers, health workers and scientists for all that they are doing. We also think of those who have sadly lost their lives during this time. We know you feel our sadness and we pray for all of the grieving families. We lift them up to you, Father, and we ask you to bring them comfort, peace and love. May they know they are not alone. You are our constant. You will always fulfil your promises to us. We trust you to show us the right way to live, so we may always be kind and helpful to others. Help us to forgive those who hurt us and be there for those in need. Lord, we ask you to be with those who are feeling lonely, scared or anxious right now. We continue to see rainbows on our walk and they remind us of your promise to Noah. We see the rainbows as a sign of hope and remember your promise to save us if we accept Jesus in our lives. Lord, we thank you for the earth, plants and animals. We thank you for the rainbows that appear in the sky as a sign of your promise between you and all living creatures on earth. We thank you that the rainbows show us that no matter how bad the storm gets, you never forget us. You are our constant. We bring our prayers to you this morning, Lord, and ask you to bless us for the week ahead. In the name of your glorious Son, Jesus Christ. Amen. Amen. Yeah.
Because we will be done as on earth, on earth as it is on heaven. On earth as it on as it is on heaven. Today, today give us our daily bread. Today, give us your daily bread. Forgive us your sins. Forgive us your sins. So, so give the people that sin against us. So give the people that sin against us. Um, um, leave us not, not in the temptation. Leave us not in the temptation. Leave us not in the temptation. But deliver us from evil. But deliver us from evil. The tower. The tower. The power. The power. The kingdom. The kingdom. And the glory. And the glory. Are yours? Are yours? Are yours? Now for and forever. Now and forever. Thank you so much to the Rodolfo family for our prayers this morning. I know Sophia's been working very hard on those um, and certainly in what we saw in those prayers. So thank you so much to you. Thank you to all of you who have taken part in our service today. It's always wonderful to have lots of people taking part in our online services. If you'd like to do anything, we talked about stories the other week. If there's anything you'd like to contribute, then let me know. We'd love to have your contribution in our services. As we move into yet another week, and I know it's the last week of school before half term, I hope you have a good week and you enjoy this week. And I know lots of people are looking forward to half term and to a bit of a break from all that's been going on. So let's pray as we just move towards the end of our service. Loving God, we thank you for everything that you give us. We thank you for the sign of the rainbow to remind us of your promises to remind us of your care and to remind us of your love. As we move into this week, we pray that we will see signs of your promises, that we will be people who keep our promises with other people and that we shine your light through us. So be with us in this week, I pray in Jesus' name. Amen. Have a great week, whatever you are doing. Look after yourselves and stay safe. And we're going to move into our final worship song. Oh Lord, my God. When I in awesome wonder Consider all the 